life. Hello everybody, my name is Goodboy, and welcome to the a, a patch analysis, and this is in-game gameplay, reflecting on Dota, how it's changed, what it means, and the insane degree of shock that I think we're all in, coming to term with the, uh, with the patch. So, oh, here's a little casual early game gank just for funsies. Two deaths in the early game. Not too bad. With our new friend, our good friend, uh, Monkey King, who everyone's now playing. Capic and Guard coming out very soon, by the way. So, um, anyway. So, basically, one of the biggest things that kind of has freaked me out for sure, obviously, are the map changes. But in particular, obviously, the jungle insanity that is the jungle and the contesting of the um, the rune spots so these days kind of the common strategy is you go and contest the enemy's rune spot and if they happen to be there you go kill them this seems fun seems nice, nice and easy now but let's talk first and foremost about the uh, the map overlay here so obviously you can tp here but here's the thing that i think stands out most significantly it's the size of the user interface Right. So before, you just pretty much had a continuous bar going across the bottom. Now, you've got a, a mini-map that seems smaller. Maybe it isn't. You've got your selection of your, you know, your skills, your abilities, obviously your talent tree, the fun talent tree, and your items. Now, that in itself is simplified, but it's actually harder to see, and it's really, really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I can't see everything. Oh, it's so small. Things moving around, that kind of stuff. You have to press Alt to see, like, your stats and stuff. So that's weird. And then the glyph used to be round here in the bottom corner is over here. Now, the weirdest thing of all that's like a real head shift is the, um, is the courier. So you can click on the courier and it comes towards you. And then you can press the little uh, upgrade or, or um, accelerate the courier speed once it's flying left there and then obviously selecting the courier itself you got the button so in many ways it's kind of simplified but in other ways it's really really um difficult to like it's smaller basically and you can make it bigger by the way but it's still small and that kind of feels a bit more difficult to use um in terms of like the shop and items and stuff like you have you, you can have your own selected guides all the other guides have gone um and you can pick your items. So that's kind of still basic there. It does, again, feel smaller. The thing I would say that's positive about it, though, is it definitely a lot more streamlined and slick. You know, the, the other stuff was sort of big and clunky, whereas this is now like, oh, yeah, actually, this is all right. So you've got that going on there. Um, that's interesting. Obviously, Glyph is over there. And then just the instant buying of the time portal scroll. So it, so it's it's different. It's, it's different. Um, harder to see, but definitely a bit more streamlined. And you can see sort of more of your map, more of your screen. So that's that's yeah, positive. Um, I think my reflections on the jungle are now AFK jungling isn't massively viable. So as you can see here, already as Legion Commander, I've gone back into lane after killing all the creeps. Try and get a dirty kill, which doesn't work out, but it's fine. So that is that is definitely weird um, in the sense. Now, it's probably easier in the, in the south jungle to kind of maybe AFK jungle for a bit longer. But it kind of, because of how it's they're split up now, in, in many ways, it's quite easy. If you're going to jungle sort of the top region here, you are definitely forced to then go um, to then sort of gank the lanes sort of top. And then a little bit the same for the bottom as well. But again, it's it's a bigger jungle, so you can kind of work your way around a bit more. So, yeah, so it's it's harder to AFK jungle, and that's simply because the respawn times now have been increased to every odd minute, which which means you know as you're killing all these wonderful little creeps, you're actually um, waiting for longer for them to return, and often you clear the camps before it happens, so that's kind of happening there. So that's kind of yeah, jungling. Jungling is is different, definitely different, and then of course you've got your you can jungle straight away and go straight for the ancient camp camps with the TP scrolls, that's really great. These are hard to blow up. So, in that respect, yeah, it's just different. I think the biggest thing, though, that I'm finding weird, to be, well, to be honest, is all the, uh, as I just jump ahead there, the is stuff like, 
the, like the leveling and the talent tree and the impact it has on the game is still something I'm trying to get used to. And I'm finding weird. But also like the upgrades to the different items. So let me just jump right ahead actually here to um, to Skyrath for example. So Skyrath here has got himself an axe. And it's actually really, really, really strong. Now don't get me wrong, you can dispel the silence abilities and that kind of jazz. But actually, like being able to multi-target his skills and abilities is really, really, really strong. Weird stuff like that is messing with my head. And that's like, these are just the AGS upgrades. It's like, ah, okay, how do I respond to this? Then, of course, you've got the leveling here. with Which also is freaking me out. Um, but, but nonetheless, this guy's obviously gone for high damage, which makes sense for in terms of talent tree. So, but yeah, oh, no, it's just, honestly, it's just so bizarre just seeing all these strange changes that are like outside of the interface, like the gameplay is, is different as well. Because, like, if you look at these th heroes and like how they scale. That's some of them are really quite broke. Like like Wraith King, like is just broke. Look at this. Look at this. Plus fifteen damage. Mm, yeah, it's all right. Fifteen movement speed. So someone that's quite slow already, that is good. Plus forty attack speed. That's pretty insanely crazily good. Uh, yeah. No. Really. Really. Really good. Actually. If we look at like uh, what is it? Basics. Hold on. Secret shot basics. Here we go. So, bear in mind. Hyperstone, you've always got a Hyperstone there. I mean, that's, that is plus 5, 55 attack speed there. But nonetheless, it's near, it's basically a Hyperstone. A, a near Hyperstone for Wraith King. And then you actually get him an Assault Crash, for example. And suddenly he becomes crazy bad. Um, and then, like I say, that no reincarnation cost means that you can... If you're picking the, le the right side of the tree, you're going for some of those high damage and then survives. So it's, it's just really strong. So... Oh, that's and that's what's throwing me off is that now it's really viable to farm right into the late game and I wonder if depending on the game it's very easy to have like an hour long Dota game now theoretically of course the way the game has been shifted you, you can actually push for team fight earlier on in the game however in terms of like carries and stuff when he gets this guy gets to level 25 for example that's when he's pretty much at his worst that you, you could see sort of the benefit of farming and sort of stalling the game until he gets to that level. So each of them have kind of fascinating um, impacts. And like Naga Siren, for example, one extra mirror image illusion. That's pretty strong as well in terms of pushing strategies. So, you know, it, it, it's, it, it's just really, really different. And, and to be honest, it's really hard to call exactly which way it's going to swing. Is it like, okay, our games on average are going to be longer, on average are they going to be shorter? Is jungling... Jungling is definitely different. It has definitely changed forever. Roshan is now really neutrally placed and just weird. So, so weird. And then, of course, this is Monkey King. Like, what do we do with Monkey King? Well, I've got a whole guide section for it on that. But, but again, it, it's just sort of like... It's strange, everybody. It's strange. I'm in shock. I think... I'm not going to lie to you. Like, my instincts are like... I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. And the thing is, it's not actually what they've done is wrong. It's not wrong. Or it's not necessarily wrong. It's just... It's a lot of change really, really quickly. And so a lot of the things I'm very familiar with are like, I know how a game should normally play out. I know how long it should take. I know generally how the heroes are going to synergize together. I know what I can expect of them during the late game. All that has changed because actually you scale up. Um, you scale up these sort of talent trees right up to level 25. And they get really, really strong at at level 25 as well. In some ways, you're at your peak at level 25. So there's sort of this whole dynamic going on. It's like, do we store the game up to level 25 then? So that our hard carries come align. But then equally, here's the thing. Like before, when you went to late game, it was like, oh great, yeah, late game, awesome. It's like your hard carries would just be like broke OP, come online. But now, like even supports have late game presence. Like there you go, minus four second HC of cooldown, for example. You know, uh, 
Here we go. Magic immunity for Canis offering offerings. Or plus 15 offering golems armor. You know, so actually, even into the late game, the supports actually have a really significant presence. So in many ways, the game's a lot more even in terms of, like, heroes. Don't be wrong, carries are always going to be carries and supports are always going to be supports. But their impact is completely changed. And actually, everyone's impact is much more, like, evenly aligned as you work your way through the game. This makes it weird for me. This, this, this stresses me out. I don't know how to respond to it. So I think, I think the thing is, I think part of the reason why a lot of people are, like, getting quite shall we say, angsty about it, is because so much has changed in like a, such a short period of time. So you've changed the whole map. That's number one. You've changed the user interface. That's number two. That in itself is like a big adjustment. You give an axe crazy, crazy Aghanim Scepter's abilities to a lot of heroes that are definitely an adjustment and really <laughs> changes their power levels. And then most significantly, you've got these talents that come online even to level 25. So going straight into the late game may actually not be anywhere near as in, like uh, as devastating for supports and early game heroes as it used to be. And equally nowhere near as good as it was for the characters. Look, there's the Aghanim Scepter use there. Right, that, it was, that, and that was annoying. That was really annoying. Let me just bring it back a second there. Hold on, that's too much. Uh, here we go. Hold on. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Getting the timing right, as it turns out, is really difficult. Alright, there we go. So there's Roshan. Let's bring it up here. There we go. La 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 la. Alright, alright, alright. So. But yeah, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, it, like, it just, it's just, it's just, like, the Aghanim's upgrades are ridiculous. The way they've restructured the heroes, the way they've wrecked... They've really changed jungling. Jungling is completely different now. Like, even Talon has been reworked. And it's like... Uh, uh, well, this is odd. You know, it's 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 all really just, like I say, strange. Strange. So, like, the patch updates, the Aghanim's updates, and the hero restructuring, those in themselves are quite a big adjustment in a patch. Like, on all the changes they've done... Like already massive, but then they've changed the map, the UI, and given people talents, which completely ch and they've restructured how people level throughout the game. So it means playing the game now is just really there's a lot to take in all at once, and that is quite mind bending. And I think for a lot of people, myself included, the initial instinct is I don't like it. I do not like this. Also, it's buggy. I don't know if any of you have found this yet, but but the games are crashing a lot. Like, I don't think I ever ever had a game crash. But then games are crashing a lot now. And the result is, like, well, not, not should we say, ideal. Um, and games, rank games, then you don't r get counted. So, it's just, it's, it's just, like I say, frustrating, weird. Oh, here we go. See, now look at the ags. Look at the ags updates. There you go. Double silence double abilities and then look even double ultimates just just look at that just 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 skyrath mage just kicking people in ah uh, you know that annoyed me in this game everybody that really annoyed me so so stuff like that so the reality is actually none of these things are necessarily bad you know, they're not necessarily a problem in themselves. But the problem is, because they've done everything all at once. Map change, user interface change, rescaled how everyone levels, introduced talents, Aghanim's upgrades the galore. Uh, um, to name a few. You know, they've, they've got the rucksack now. You've got your little backpack there. You can sort of change items around with unless you've got the, the shop, which gets you to change your instrument. All this sort of stuff is like a massive paradigm shift and it changes how the game... And even how the game now plays is different. Like what you choose to do and when you choose to do it and like even what you level your talents up you can pick like late game or early game so like for example look, look at this one talent tree level 15 plus 50 damage or 60 gold per min you can instantly tell from those one's picking a late game like lots of items semi carry build and the other one's picking at that particular phase in the game a mid game damage item um, and again like I say it's slightly different ways that you play the hero as well Right, and that's just one. And so what you pick in this game, as you see with Legion Commander here, I decided to go for the experience because I wanted that wonderful level 25 plus 40 dual damage bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Broke, right? So, you know, it, 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 it's... And it's promised you've got all this going on at once. 
And so because you've done it all at once, it's really, really a massive learning curve and adjustment. And the thing is, like, if you think of people who are like 8, 9k MMR, it's going to be even worse. It is literally like playing a different game. And, and like I say, I think we're all in shock. And I think the initial thing is when you change things really drastically, you just, oh, I don't like it, I'm not playing it anymore. And I'll be honest with you, I'm really, really adjusting. And I'm, I'm finding it hard to, to, like, adjust to the game. You know, and it's, it's sort of like... Ah, ah. And even when you win, you're like, I feel like I've cheated on Dota. One slash two by playing a completely different game. I mean, it, honestly, it's 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 like it's, it almost feels a bit like I've downloaded like League of Legends or something, or or a, the new the new a new ver a new MOBA and then started playing it. That's what it feels like. It feels so alien. Um, you, you know, you could sort of say um, that that's how different it is. So those are kind of my reflections. I I think like going ahead, I think. You've got to give the game a, a chance. You've got to give this new patch a chance, definitely. Um, also, you'd have a choice. <laughs> it's like, well, I don't want to give it a chance. It's like, well, then you don't play Dota anymore. There you go. But, but nonetheless, um, you, you've got to give it a chance. Play, you know, play a good. I think the first game was definitely the hardest, and then like the second game, it's like, okay, I'm kind of adjusting to this now. It's fine. And then you start to remember a lot of the Dota mechanics that are going on in the game. You think, oh, maybe it's not changed that much. It has changed that much. But you kind of, it is a big adjustment. And you've, you've got to give yourself time to come to terms with how it's changed. You've got to give yourself time to adjust to all the changes, which are massive. And then, like, like, like meta updates, for me, are going to be a complete nightmare now. Because it's like, well, huh, huh. What's good? What's bad? That's just so difficult to to say um you know and 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 all the rest of it so it, it's we're all in shock and i think i think this sort of next the next couple of weeks you just need to play the game as if like you're playing dota for the first time and just kind of come to accept that that is how it is as it were and then uh, you know try and win a few games maybe don't do ranked <laughs> But then, like I say, everyone's in the same boat, so maybe do do ranked. It's up to you, really. Um, but it's 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 strange. It's very very strange, and you know, it's it's fine if it feels weird, because it is weird. And I think, you know, it's just yeah, like that. And, and like I say, it will be all right. <laughs> Those are my final words. It will be all right. Um, just just stay positive try and stay positive and like i say give the give the patch a chance i will do a meta update soon about um like the most op stuff that you can play and things that will help you win and things that remind you of the good old dota days like laning if you lane it feels similar to how it was with dota um but but yeah i mean we're all in the same boat we're all working this out together and then you know if anything's really bad we'll just bitch at valve until they change it Anyway, everybody, that's kind of my main reflections on the on the game shift and how it's going to look out. A lot has changed, but it's going to be all right. Anyway, everybody, much love. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and share it. If you'd like more videos of the same content or maybe something a bit different, please follow the video links below.